What's up everyone? It's Tim from Tim Plays Game here with Pokemon Sword and Shield for Nintendo Switch. Tonight we are starting the first video of the new year. It is a Nuzlocke challenge, something I've always wanted to do. Haven't really had the opportunity to do it, but we know we got a new year here. We got a little bit of a lull in new games coming out. So we're going to do this for a while, see what happens. And if you've never heard of a Nuzlocke before, it's actually a really fun challenge. I'll explain more later on. Let's go. Okay, and we're back. Uh, let's see. English. Okay, so, if you've never heard of a Nuzlocke before, uh, it's more of a, kind of a, hard to say, it's like a bit more of a challenging than just playing the regular Pokemon game. There's more to it, there's more rules for that. Uh, we're gonna go into those rules later on, but, uh, I'll be, post I'll be posting the rules I'm using in the description below. So, first rule, uh, let's see, we're just gonna pick our character. And this is more story-driven, so we're gonna call, we're gonna pick this one. Give her a name. Uh, we got 12 letters to work with. <laughs> this is something I, th I thought about last night. You know, uh, I'm gonna first of all, I'm going to call her Gora Stubles. I've already... <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have a bunch of ridiculous names for all of these uh, Pokemon. Yeah, I got to nickname my Pokemon too. So, Gora Stubles. Uh, her parents couldn't decide whether she, they want to name her Gloria or Laura. So, they named her Gora. <laughs> Gora Stubles. Here we go. I'm going to leave the story on, but I'm going to kind of... I'm kind of gonna, I'm gonna kind of put my own story over it. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, yeah, if you've never played the Pokemon game before, this guy is the main reason <laughs> we have a story. <laughs> but basically, uh, we're gonna be nicknaming all our Pokemon. So, I have a nickname generator over here to the left of me. I, it's it kind of help me save time. But I'll probably, like, just end up generating a random nickname. It generates, like, 12 random nicknames. And then I'll just call it, I'm going to take two of those and kind of fuse them together to make a very silly nickname. Like, one, like two of the examples I got were Fox and Spud. Uh, what else I got? Yeah, the, like, the list of nicknames they gave me. Cheerio, Loser, Fox, Salt, Autumn, Spud, Dunce, Betty Boop, Pebbles, Lefty, Muffin, Goblin. Uh, one thing I might like, if I, so if I were to catch a Pokemon just now, I'd probably name it Spud Muffin. <laughs> Take two of the names, fuse them together. Hopefully, it uh, doesn't take more than 12 letters. Or Salt Goblin. <laughs> and I'm probably going to misspell the nicknames, too, just to. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing I want to do. I wanted to misspell. They're going to have one common misspelling just to annoy the OCD fans, so sorry. <laughs> and there he is, Leon. They basically, yeah, they really hammer in your whole rival in this game. It's not really more of a traditional rival, it's just kind of like something you aspire to defeat. Uh, so, let's see, basic rules of the Nuzlocke. You may choose your starter Pokemon gifted to you by Leon, that's that guy. Uh, you may only capture the first Pokemon you see in each area. Uh, the different areas of the wild area count as their own separate area, so there's 17 in the wild area. Uh, and it's the first Pokemon, you may only capture the first Pokemon you battle in each area. Uh, you may not trade or interact with other users via local or wireless over the internet, so internet's off throughout, throughout this whole thing. Uh, Pokemon that require evolution through trading, such as Gengar, are exempt from this, uh, so yeah, if, provided they trade back immediately. I can get that to happen, yeah, if we need to. Uh, you may trade Pokemon in with, with in-game NPCs, kind of like, uh... Kind of, yeah, like the Toxel, or yeah, any Pokemon that are given to you by NPCs, like Toxel, they're allowed. Uh, cannot use Mystery Gift or Event Pokemon such as Gigantamax Meowth. <laughs> That's just broken anyway. And there's Gorus Doodles. I'll tell you more rules later on. I don't want to bore you guys with rules. So the so the story I have for Gora Stubles <laughs> is that she basically is a 23-year-old waitress. <laughs> Did not like her job, mo quit, moved back in with her mom. <laughs> And now she's kind of uh, parade, and she basically wanted to be a Pokemon trainer. Didn't happen early on in life, but now she's that she's moved back home with her mom. She's pretending to be a ten-year-old Pokemon trainer, <laughs> and nobody knows. Also, she has a crush on Leon. That's kind of I don't know. <laughs> Got to put something in here, some kind of love interest in there. Uh, you must nickname every Pokemon you capture, like I said, including your starter. Just to make you appreciate them and bond with them more than you would otherwise. 
That's kind of like the whole thing. It's, it's, it's a very story-driven type thing, but you gotta kind of fill in your own story. If one of your Pokemon... Yeah, here's the biggest thing about Nuzlocke. If one of your Pokemon faints, you must transfer it to the box immediately and release it. Uh, yeah, so any Pokemon that faints is gonna be released. Uh, this means you may not use any items that revive the Pokemon either. It is considered permanently fainted and must be released, no exceptions. You may, however, heal your Pokemon using items such as potions or antidotes. And this is Leon's brother, Hop, <laughs> which Gora is trying to make friends with to get to Leon. <laughs> Let's see, uh, also, you may store additional Pokemon you've caught in boxes to be used if you wish to switch out any member of your party. Uh, or one of your party feints, provided they are caught in accordance with the restrictions limited in Rule 2. That's, uh, yeah, so, uh, so, yeah, basically one Pokemon in each area, but I can have some, I can have some on reserves. Which I feel like I might need. It's actually a really nice house. Not crazy about the green, but yeah. <laughs> the green with the blue rug just kind of clash, completely clashes. Gora, everyone calls her Gora Stubles. They name her, yeah, by her last name. <laughs> they call her by her last name, Gora Stubles. As if they were going to say, Gora, Gora who? Oh, Gora Stubles. Okay, because there's more than one Gora. You come, you've, got, you've got to come with me, Gora. You've still never met my big bro, right? <laughs> Plan worked perfectly. <laughs> no, I haven't. Lead the way. Uh, you may, let's see, uh, another rule. Uh, you must have autosave on, uh, autosave feature on at all times, and you may not reload a previous save at any time. Each action in game is considered permanent and must be treated as such. Yeah, that's kind of... Again, one of the backbone rules of the Nuzlocke. Uh, should all your party po Pokemon faint, resulting in a whiteout, uh, is considered game over, and you must start the entire adventure over from the beginning, even if you have reserved Pokemon in the box. Yeah. So yeah, one fa one whiteout, and we're done. <laughs> so this whole Let's Play could just end at any minute. We don't know for whatever reason. Hello, Wedge has I'm happy, I promised. Okay. I'm going to kind of skip most of this uh, story, just because I've already lived it. <laughs> I've already done a playthrough of Pokemon Shield. Yeah, I'm playing the Pokemon Sword version right now. Any interaction with Gora Stubles, though, I'll probably I'll probably talk and do the voices for. <laughs> but again, this has all happened. One thing, I, yeah, one big thing I made, one big mistake I made uh, when doing uh, Pokemon uh, Shield playthrough, uh, I didn't really, yeah, I, I should have put some type of challenge on it, but I was really more interested in just playing the game, just trying to seeing what I could do. So I got like a really rocking team of Pokemon and just, yeah. <laughs> and there's br these bright eyes over here. I've got it. You must be Gora Stubbles, am I right? <laughs> I've heard loads about you from my little brother. I'm the Galar's region's greatest ever Pokemon champion and a massive Charizard fan too. People call me the unbeatable Leon because I'm de undefeated and I'm a champion. I'm not going to do that this time. <laughs> Last, yeah, and also with the playthrough I made this running gag of, in, in the entire first episode really. <laughs> Where, uh, he- I'm undefeated, and I'm the champion, and I'm Hop's brother. Did I not mention that? Did I not establish that yet? <laughs> he says it all the time! For this first part. <laughs> also, uh, another thing, I'm going- I'm going with a really like, hardcore set of rules, so there are more- more rules. <laughs> yeah, I'm going hardcore set of rules on this. Um, may not use in-game healing items to heal your Pokémon. This includes status healing items, such as Antidote. Uh, you may not purchase additional Pokeballs of any kind. I'm not doing that either. Yeah, so my Pokeballs are seriously limited. You may only use those you find on the ground. You may not use held items with your Pokemon. That's another big thing. Cannot use held items with my Pokemon. Right then, the greatest champion. Okay, so... And I'm not going to be too, like, too upset about which Pokemon I lose. I'm just going to... Because the first Pokemon I, the first Pokemon I get here, I'm not using. I'm not using my starter. That's That's one thing I wanted to try with this. I'm like, I'm, someone kind of mentioned it to me, like, oh yeah, whenever I get a starter, I just box it, and I'm like, wait, you, you can do that? <laughs> it's like, yeah, you don't need the starter. I'm, it's actually much more challenging without the starter. The starter Pokemon is kind of, like, it's kind of overpowered. Also, I feel like, yeah, there's no, I mean, if you, if you use any of them, you should have no problem with this game. Also, I mean, they are adorable, though. I did want the score bunny the first time around. <laughs> but I'm gonna grab a Pokemon, and then we'll just uh, go from there. I'm probably gonna grab a Sobble for the first part. This is gonna be a very random, st very random uh, let's play. I have no idea how it's gonna go, but I'm kind of excited to do it. All right, which one are we choosing? Again, it doesn't matter too much. It's gonna get released. So, 
go Sobble for the first part. Our type Pokemon Sobble, yes. Joe Sobble. And yeah, we gotta give a nickname to all of them. <laughs> Alright, nickname generator, do your thing. Let's see, we got General, Lady, Tater, Pinata, Rubber, Admiral, Skunk, Robin, Daffodil, Harmione, really, Harmione. <laughs> Red Hot, okay, okay, I got it. <laughs> well, two of the suggestions were Red Hot and another one was Tater, so we're calling him Red Hot Tater. <laughs> Red Hot Tater. <laughs> Red Hot Tater has been added to your party. <laughs> Even though it's blue. <laughs> so, it'll be it'll be Sobble for you. Nice one. I'll go Skull Bunny then. You're mine. I'm aiming to be the next champion, so be ready. You and I will be doing some serious training. Honestly, this is going to affect the later game more than it, more of anything. I always kind of imagine Hop having uh, a, a score bunny, though. <laughs> That's why I brought along these Pokemon for you and Gora Stooples, so the two of you can battle and train and grow and, and to try to reach me. <laughs> Gora's like, oh, I want to reach you. <laughs> oh, and you'll come with me. Charles will show you the ropes. He's strict, but really strong and really kind, too. He just freaking swallows him in one bite. <laughs> <laughs> You see him munching on something back here. Charizard, what are you chewing on? Spit it out, Charizard! Spit him out! <laughs> yeah, he's like just eyeing him like a piece of candy. <laughs> I've got food! And Charizard's like, so do I! <laughs> the next day, for those of you who can't tell time. <laughs> and we do have a first, yeah, our first battle here. I'm going to try to skip through most of this first part as I can because, again, it doesn't matter. <laughs> a lot of things here do not matter. Just having a Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real trainer. Proper trainers raise their Pokemon to be first rate in battle pro battle 2. Oh and, oh, and you think you're worthy of calling yourself such a proper trainer already, Hop? Guess I'll have to be the judge of that. Let's see how you handle yourself in battle with your friends up to it. What do you say? Willing to ready to take on Hop for the first time? Yep, first battle. Okay. And here, and I, and I, and I say the starter is, like, really easy. Just really... Really overpowered. I don't want to say like overpowered, but compared to other Pokemon you're going to meet early on, it is seriously stronger. Like, here's a normal Wooloo right here. This would be something you probably need in the wild. And go Red Hot Tater. <laughs> I would love to see like a like a like. Oh wow, it's a female. Ooh, I might have to. I might. Okay, I might. I might probably just put it in a box that is released or dead. Cause uh, no no I gotta release it. Oh, dang, oh it's a female. I, I got I can raise more. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna growl first. This is one thing I do early on. I all like in a serious battle I'll use like the status move first and then start attacking on it. Just wail on it. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of glad I'm releasing you. <laughs> so, yeah, it's two levels higher than you and two levels lower than you. It's already that much damage. I mean it's only three, but still. That's before. That was before the growl. Or that was after the growl. Sorry. Tackle. Again, real simple. If you've never played a Pokemon Sword and Shield game, or if you've never played any Pokemon Adventure game, I do recommend Sword and Shield. It's it's very easy to get into. Very simple compared to the other ones. Uh, if you're looking for more of a challenge, you can do the whole Nuzlocke thing. But yeah, Sword and Shield is definitely a good backbone uh, Pokemon adventure. If you ever get the chance to play the original Red and Blue, though, like the Game Boy Red and Blue, not the Red Fire Red, Leaf Green. No, I mean, <laughs> hard. You want to go hardcore? Just uh, original Game Boy Red and Blue. They do not pull any punches in that game. Well, it was. It was I don't think they knew how big it was going to be. It was just another game to them. <laughs> I mean, this is the this is the highest selling Game Boy game of all time. That I think it out I think it out outsold Tetris. Let me look into that. I'll look into it later. I I think it outsold Tetris. It, de it definitely came close. All right, so that's one down. And again, I can't use any healing items. So that's another thing. No healing items. Also, the 
Pokemon rule of, of uh, catching and rele or, yeah, releasing my first one. Yeah, none of this happens until after I get Pokeballs. So there's st stuff I can't do. So, some of these rules don't officially kick in until uh, after I get Pokeballs for... Really, it's something they did in other games. Like, you, you'd be able to interact with Pokemon and fight Pokemon, but you wouldn't be able to catch them. Obviously, if you're not able to catch them, then it's kind of a dumb rule. Alright, so on our way. So now we need... Basically, we need to get... Uh... Oh, what's this? Gore Stubles, did you hear that just now? Yeah, some of this I'm going to be skipping ahead on just because uh, it does deal... Well, actually, you know what? It, I'm not going to skip too much. So we got to go in there and find find the Wooloo now. I'll read lines that have her name in it, like Gora Stubles. Hope you're ready for anything because you're going in. Go We're going in, Gora Stubles. Alright, guess we got to go. <laughs> Gonna run into oh god, foggy forest. Perpetual always foggy forest. Now this one count again because I don't have Pokeball, so this is not. This, I'm not gonna count this first part. I will train up my uh, red hot tater a little bit. I'm gonna re re be releasing it, but for right now, I need I need to have some experience for when I catch the when I'm able to catch Pokemon. Uh, a couple other rules in the whole Nuzlocke thing. Uh, there are other ways to heal Pokemon other than items. Uh, you may not use the Link Box to access your boxes outside of a Pokemon Center. I have to be at a Pokemon Center to use the boxes. That's a rule. Uh, you may not use any items at all besides Pokeballs and mandatory key items. Uh, you may not use the Poke Camp feature to heal your Pokemon uh, at all with curries. I'm, I'm just not going to use it at all. Uh, you may not use the box system to hold reserve to... I'm gonna, well... I'm gonna have some reserve Pokemon. <laughs> That's one rule I'm gonna ignore. This is like, this is, these are optional rules I'm reading. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ignore that one rule. Uh, I may not run from battles, so no running from battles. I have to fight every battle. That is currently in effect. Also, you may, uh, I have to use the set style of uh, battle rather than the default switch. Uh, this option can be found in the option menu. Yeah, not people know about this. It's kind of, it actually does make the game uh, a little bit more intense, especially in uh, Pokemon Trainer Battles. Let's see. Let's go in there. Let me show you those options real quick. I'm gonna speed, the, just to speed things up a little, battle fix on. Set. So basically, it doesn't ask you, uh, this Pokemon, this person's about to use this Pokemon, do you want to switch out? No, they don't give you that option. You have to, you have to, you have to, um, crap, train of thought, um, <laughs> yeah, you have to, you have to waste a turn if you want to switch out. Did you hear that? Was a Pokemon crying out, you think? What else would it be? <laughs> there are humans, and there are Pokemon, and nothing else. If it's not a human, it's a Pokemon. <laughs> if it's not a Pokemon or a human, I shudder to think what it would be. <laughs> An Ultra Beast? I don't know. I do like the added intensity of this, though. And pound! Kind of a weird attack to call to call something like like uh, like hit smack. I mean they could, could call it other things, punch, but pound. <laughs> Go on, Gore Stubles. Though that Wooloo might be in real trouble. <laughs> Everyone call they call her first and last name. That's that's what kills me. <laughs> I mean I named her, but still. This is mad. I can't see. Yeah, you can't see your own face. Whatever. How do you see your own face? You can't. It's impossible. You can see, like, parts of your face, but not your face. <laughs> Sword Doggo! <laughs> what in the... <laughs> Lora it's Lorard. 
Oh no, we're fighting Lerard. If I do catch him, I'm naming him Lerard. <laughs> and this part doesn't matter too much. I, I would run, but I can't. Yeah, As another rule, like I said, you can't run in a, in a Nuzlocke challenge. And it doesn't matter what you do, you're gonna you're gonna lose this battle. So this one does this part does not count. Well, it wasn't really a knockout. It's more of the Pokemon just kind of ran, kind of disappeared. By the way, one thing I was in, I was kind of talking about, like there was this was a female uh, Sobble, which is weird because, to my knowledge, the chances of getting uh, a female starter are like less than twelve percent. It's like eleven point eight something percent. So it, I, I can always breed more of a uh, Sobble with hidden abilities too. Okay, so yeah, this battle basically ended in a double disqualification, so it doesn't count. <laughs> I don't know. I guess the other Pokemon ran. I mean, it didn't actually attack, so... <laughs> unless, it, unless its attack was fog. <laughs> I always wondered, like, if a Pokemon had defog, would it be able to get around that? <laughs> That's an actual attack, defog. Hop! Gore Stibbles! Why? Lee? How'd you manage to find your, find your way here? Your pants were... <laughs> your pants with directions. Pants with directions. I love that saying. <laughs> your pants with directions. <laughs> I mean, you're bad with directions. And your pants. I guess pants are bad. I don't know. The Charizard looks like, it, and it's like it looks like it wants to eat the Wulu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was hungry. That's how we found you. <laughs> now, let's see. Also, last few rules. You may not use the Move Tutor. You may not use the Flying Taxis. You may not Dynamax your Pokemon. That's a that's a big one. I cannot Dynamax at all. No Dynamaxing. <laughs> Sobble's just a sweetheart. Okay, on to Wedgehost, aren't you? Pocket money. And at this point, yeah, again, I can't use items to heal my Pokemon, so I'll probably just end up selling those items to get money. <laughs> yeah, I can't buy Pokeballs. Can't buy items. All the Pokeballs I find, I, I use have to be found. So I'm gonna I'm gonna release uh, Tater in a <laughs> probably next episode. Let's save right now. But this will be fun, guys. I have a good feeling about. I have a good feeling this is gonna be a good time. But yeah, at this point in the game, I do have Pokeballs. So every uh, yeah, I have five Pokeballs. Every Pokeball I have has to be found. <laughs> so going forward, any Pokemon I find will be uh, caught. Uh, again, I'm going to try to keep it random, though. I, wanna, I want it to be as random as possible. This is the first area right here. I'm probably going to be spending a lot of time looking for items, just because I want as many Pokeballs as I can. Alright, first one. What's it going to be? My first... Oh my god, I have a Caterpie. <laughs> Great, i got to go through this whole thing with a Caterpie. Alright. <laughs> here goes nothing. Okay, it's level 4, thank god. <laughs> uh, okay, um... Yeah, if I don't catch... Okay, so I'm just going to go easy on it. Try to li like lightly tap it. Just don't kill it. Okay, good. Wow, that was a critical hit. Okay. <laughs> I got to go through this whole dang thing with a Caterpie. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I was hoping for something that could like hold its own, like a freaking... I don't know. There's not a lot of good things right here. Here we go. Get caught. I only got five Pokeballs, so... There's one. There's two. There's three. Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> so this is me and my partner, Caterp Caterpie. <laughs> and per accordance with the rules, I gotta... Yeah, first I gotta nickname my Caterpie. Let's give it a nickname here. <laughs> uh, let's see. I got Dot, Cookie, Colonel, Chicky, Butterfinger, Bell, Ginger, DJ... Oh, DJ something. DJ Chubbs. <laughs> yes. Gora, the amazing adventure of Gora Stubles and DJ Chubbs. <laughs> oh dear God. Okay. <laughs> and this, yeah, the Caterpie is almost dead. I, I, and I can use Pokemon Centers. I can use. I, I don't have the box yet, but basically, uh, DJ, yeah, Red Hot Taters off the menu, off the uh, possibility list. 
Uh, for right now, though, I'm gonna be yeah, I'm gonna be using the freaking Caterpie <laughs> throughout the rest of the adventure. But that is gonna wrap things up for tonight's episode, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to Tim Plays Game. Stay tuned for more Pokemon Sword Nuzlocke Challenge. Till next time, this is Tim from Tim Plays Game signing off, and have a good night, guys. <laughs>